Class is dismissed, boys and girls. <laughs> You're in! No! no. Previously on the YTV Retrospective! Lana! What?! <laughs> Danger Zone! Born on January 27, 1931 in Montreal, Quebec, Mordecai Richler was a child of French-Canadian and Jewish descent. He graduated from Baron Bing High School and enrolled to Sir George Williams College but unfortunately did not complete his degree. At the age of 19, he would move to Paris in a similar vein as many others, who were unsure of the direction they should take in their lives. He then moved back to Montreal in 1952 to work with the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, or the CBC, then moved again to London in 1954, where he became a journalist as well as an author, writing seven of his ten acclaimed novels there, including 1959's The Apprenticeship of Duddy Kravitz and 1971's St. Urbain's Horseman. He would also marry Catherine Boudreaux. On the eve of their wedding, Mordecai met the wife of his close friend, screenwriter Stanley Mann, Florence Mann. Years later, both Florence and Mordecai would divorce their spouses and would eventually marry each other, adopting her son Daniel. Soon after, they would have four children, Noah, Martha, Emma, and Jacob. In 1972, he returned to his roots once again in Montreal and wrote a new series of books. This time, for children. In 1975, he wrote Jacob Tutu Meets the Hooded Fang, followed by Jacob Tutu and the Dinosaur in 1987, and Jacob Tutu's first spy case in 1995. In 2001, he would sadly pass away from cancer at the age of 70. After his death, writer Kerry Fagan wrote the 2009 prequel Jacob Tutu on the High Seas. These were a very popular series of books for kids. And there were even film adaptations of the first book, Jacob Tutu Meets the Hooded Fang, one in 1978 and another in 1999, which that one had the titular villain played by Gary Busey. To see things twice. Don't see things twice! You hear me? You got me! You see the gun? Yeah. <laughs> Was I? All right. So in 2003, YTV would air an animated adaptation. This is Jacob Tutu. This is the story of Jacob, voiced by Billy Rosenberg, whose family just moved into their new home in Montreal from England. Being the youngest of a large family, he has a tendency to repeat himself so he can be heard, being given the nickname Jacob Tutu. I can't find my lucky card. Someone stole it! Someone stole it! Jacob is also the goaltender of their local hockey team looking to make it big with the Montreal Marvels, an obvious homage to the NHL team, the Montreal Canadiens. Hey, just as long as he isn't wearing a Toronto Maple Leafs jersey, then we are okay. <laughs> he lives with his siblings, the twins Noah, voiced by Mark McMulkin, and Emma, voiced by Caitlin Howell who play as the hero team Kid Power, as Fearless O'Toole and Intrepid Shapiro, respectively. Flying Leg Drop O'Toole and Shanghai Headlock Shapiro here. Today we're gonna show you how to make your very own wrestling costume. Teen sister Martha, voiced by Jocelyn Barth. That's awesome. You're not as pathetic and hopeless as everyone said. And the cool yet cynical eldest brother, Daniel, voiced by Rob Tinkler. Opportunity knocks. Make way for the local hero! I'll save you, little girl! Smooth move, Mr. Hero! His father is named Morty, voiced by Harvey Atkin, who is an author of the series of books called The Amazing Ronald, and has a striking resemblance to Mordecai Richler. Magic made easy? Better to start off with the basics. Conjure a rabbit or two before you try turning lead into gold, okay? Okay. Thanks, Dad. He goes to school with his friends, Buford Orville Gaylord Pugh, who is a good balance for Jacob as he doesn't worry as much. Just keep a lookout, okay, Buford? 
I will be a lookout, and I will look out. There's also the hothead Renee Rattel, voiced by Julie Lemieux, that always rushes into things, with Jacob trying to stop her. Yes! Hey, give it back! The first clue is, close the book and if you're bright, we'll guide you to our secret site. The path to take is wrapped up tight, hold up the map and see the light. And the bully trio of Wilson, Quigley, and Duchesne. What are you looking at, Jacob 2-4? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> you guys hear an echo? <laughs> I am not surprised. Since echoes happen in big, empty spaces. <laughs> Jacob finds a lot of strange happenings, which are often led by the corrupt adults in the town, including the greedy principal I am Greedy Guts. Essays? About me? 10,000 words! Ooh, that's even more than last year. Miss Sour Pickle really knows how to kiss up to a principal. Wow. Subtle. Janitor and Toady, Leo Laos. Just because you can do a second-rate imitation of Greedy Guts don't mean I'm turning you loose. <sighs> what if I gave you a quarter? Now you're talking. It's about time you wised up, Tutu. Cranky teacher, Miss Sour Pickle. I won't rest until that monster is tracked down. And I won't let anyone else rest either. We now return to Power Tools Unplugged. Con artist Carl Fester King. Note to self, widen all doorways in the kingdom. <laughs> Jacob's friendly neighbor and ex-spy, ex-Burnaby Dinglebat, and his pet hamster Intrepid. Doesn't sound right to me. If I hurry back, I can beat him there. You two stay here and keep watch. And the scary wrestler turned friend, the Hooded Fang. Played by WWE legend, Brett the Hitman Hart. I'm still looking for someone to fight. How about you two? No, 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 no. Lawler, you wanted a big fight. You wanted to start a fight with the Hitman. You want to start a war, and I can promise you, I am going to take you to the gallows, and you will be excellently executed. Despite there being only three books at the time the show was made, they incorporated elements from them throughout the series. For example, in the book, Jacob Tutu's First Spy Case, Jacob, with the help of Mr. Dinglebat, pull a trick on Principal Greedy Guts during a poker game, using a variation of the Pick a Card trick. This was added into the episode. From April 3rd, 2003 to May 19th, 2006, Jacob Tutu ran for five seasons with 62 episodes. The series was produced by Novana and Nine Story Entertainment. It originally aired on YTV as part of its Sunday morning lineup, but also aired during the early weekday mornings and afternoons. It also aired in the UK on Fox Kids Europe, the French Canadian channel Vrock, and was also one of the first shows that aired as part of Kubo in the US. DVDs were available courtesy of Kaboom Entertainment, and the entire series is available to watch on the Keep It Weird YouTube channel. Jacob Tutu is a pretty good adaptation of the books, and shows that not everything is what it seems, be it a young boy who may be small and naive, or adults that could be greedy or corrupt. The series is a lot of fun, and you should check it out for yourselves. When we come back, we're going to take a look at a trilogy of sorts of one of our favorite series, the trials and errors it went through, and how it helped bring in a new audience to the franchise, a series that's more than meets the eye. Next time on the YTV Retrospective! We now return to Stephen King's Silver Bullet on AMC. Piss on the Yankees, piss on the Indians, piss on the Phillies, piss on the... Does everything have a sponsor? 